There are many things we would all like to see added to Grounded, but some are just not possible or don't really fit the game. There is one, however, that would be universally praised, and I'm not quite sure why the devs are so resistant to adding it. In this video, I'll discuss that one thing, and why I think it will be one of the best additions to the game. Before we begin, I want to thank the Overseer91, Grey Knight, and all my channel members who help make videos like this possible. If you're interested in learning more about channel memberships, click the join button below, the link in the description, or the card at the end of the video. Let's get started. As we all patiently wait for the next Grounded update, which may or may not be at the end of this month, hopefully it is, if not, it's likely to be sometime in May, there are some things that we can expect in that update based on some recent developer live streams. One is going to be armor upgrades, so it was mentioned during a recent developer live stream. Armor upgrades are in the works, they're going to be similar to the weapon upgrades, but also be a little bit different, so we can expect those hopefully in the next update, or at least the first iteration of them. They also mentioned that we're going to have base raids or base defenses. Now, I didn't get confirmation on whether those, not those are going to be coming in the very next update, but I think that we're maybe going to get our first iteration of those as well. If not, it'll likely be an update after that. In addition to that, there's some things we can expect, which is going to be, of course, populating parts of the yard that are not currently populated, like the top northeast corner here, which just has nothing over there but dirt. At least part of that's probably going to be updated in the next update. We can probably also expect to get at least one or more new insects or creatures, as well as some new armor and weapons, since most of the recent updates have added things like that. Those are things we can definitely expect. We might also be able to get ourselves inside of a new lab. Maybe there's going to be new burgle chips. Many things that we can expect that would make sense to be added to the game. And while those things are likely, there's also some things that just don't make sense to be added to the game and have been confirmed as not coming. One of which I just don't understand. And I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. And I'd love to get your take on that is why you think it wouldn't make sense and why I really think it should be added to the game. But let's real quick go through a couple of things that are not that have been confirmed as not being added and why I think they don't make sense. And I completely agree with the decision for them not being added. The first is going to be mounts. You can see some bees flying off here in the distance. There's red worker ants. There's ladybugs. Those are the different types of insects that people have suggested as us being able to use as mounts to get across the map faster. Now, why do I think they don't make sense in this game? The reason is going to be because the map in this game, while it does look kind of large from just standing up here, in the grand scheme of things and comparing it to other games, it's just not that big. And I don't think mounts really make sense in a game where you can pretty much travel to and from both sides of the map one foot pretty quickly. Using zip lines, you can zip across the yard in just a matter of like 30 seconds or so, maybe, depending on how high you build them. You can get back and forth really quickly. So mounts, while they would be awesome in the game, they just don't really make sense. And I kind of agree with the decision not to add them. Perhaps if sometime in the future they expand the map or maybe there's a sequel to the game and there's a larger map, maybe it's a bigger backyard or something, mounts might make sense in that. But for right now, they just don't make sense. In addition to that, there's a couple of things that people were expecting to possibly happen at some point. One was going to be going into the shed. I know I was expecting to go in there for the Into the Wood update just because they had done a ton of terraforming under it in prior updates or leading up to it. However, we've been told we're not going to be going into the shed. We're not going to be able to get into the house at any point, or at least it's not currently planned, and there's no plans for us to go into other backyards. And while I would love to see all of those things, I can completely understand why they're not in the plans right now, because just looking at this shed, look how big that is. If they had to allow us to go in there and fully populate that, even if it was sparsely populated, that's a huge area to update. Going into the house, now it could be maybe just going into one room. That wouldn't be that big of an undertaking, but... Even so, one room in the house is going to be a massive undertaking, as well as going into other yards. So I can understand why those are not being planned right now. Perhaps they'll come in a DLC. Maybe they'll be added if a sequel ever comes out. That would be really cool. But right now, they're not planned, and I kind of understand that as to why they're not being planned right now. Aside from that, there's other things like add more than four players. I know a lot of people have asked, can they have more than four players? And right now, because the game is centralized or it's focused around four different individual characters, it doesn't really make sense to have more than four. And let's be honest here. I think I can speak for most of us. The multiplayer experience right now, and hopefully this does improve in the future, and especially when the game fully releases, is just not that great for people that are not the host. I know I've played as both host and not host. Every time I've not been the host, my experience has been dreadful. I've had desync lag just all over the map, like nothing, like things not placing, me not being able to hit the enemies, them hitting me when I don't see them hitting me, all kinds of stuff like that. I know other people have had, or most people have had a similar experience. So having more than four players would probably just add to the fact, add to that, those problems, make it harder to optimize. And overall, the game just doesn't really make sense to have more than four players because let's be like, this map's just not that big. There's not a t that much content in the game. Imagine going through this with eight or 10 or 12 players. You'd blow through all the content in a matter of hours instead of a matter of days or weeks. And then the last thing that I think is definitely not coming, and at least they've said it's not coming and doesn't really make sense, is fishing. That is that To me, this doesn't make sense because what will we fish for? It would be cool if we could fish for treasure or something like that, but I can completely understand why they're saying they don't plan on adding fishing because honestly, I think the koi pond is probably pretty much done at this point. And 
if you think about it, there's no way we'd be able to fish up a tadpole or a water boatman or any of the, or the diving bell spiders. They're just way too big and they would easily just pull us into the water. So fishing doesn't make sense. So those are the things that they've confirmed is not coming to the game that I kind of agree with. But there's one thing that makes absolutely no sense to me, and I think you'll probably agree with this, and that is a larger backpack size. What I don't understand is why it's been, we've been asked, multiple people have asked, many people have asked, probably hundreds if not thousands of people have asked or suggested, can we get a larger backpack? And for some reason, the developers have been very adamant about not doing that. Now, it doesn't make any sense to me because let's be honest here, if you spend more than an hour or so exploring in this game, even if you spend 15 or 20 minutes, you can easily fill your entire backpack up with different resources. I actually went through before I started recording this and counted the different resources. So if we go over here and look at this, we're not going to go through all of them right now. But the resource tab here has over 100 different resources that can be picked up. And then if you go through and count the different recipes of items that can be carried in your backpack, there's over 100 of those as well. So you can very quickly end up filling up your inventory, leaving things behind. And while I know that could be a possibly be a gameplay decision or gameplay design, like it might make sense to do that. To me, having to manage your backpack is one of like three things in survival games and games in general that kind of aggravate me and just become a source of frustration rather than making the game more challenging. So you have backpack size, stamina, and durability. We already know the game has all three of those. They're hopefully, they said they're going to take a look at the stamina and the durability in the next update and updates going forward. So hopefully they improve durability on weapons. Hopefully they figure out a way to better let us manage our stamina. But those things are kind of like, I can deal with them the way they are right now. The one thing that really bugs me all the time, no pun intended, is the fact that I'm constantly leaving resources behind. I have to pick and choose what I take with me. And that's because there's just so many items in the game and so many things you have to carry. If you're just going on a normal adventure you're probably gonna end up having a full set of armor which is going to take up all these slots over here you're gonna end up taking some food probably a canteen with you you're also going to take a couple weapons you're probably going to want to take a hammer and an axe just in case you have to chop anything you might want to take a shovel as well and then if you if you just start and because each of the bugs has different strengths and weaknesses depending on where you're going you might have to carry two three four different weapons just to make sure you can cover all your bases when you're going out and adventuring now I don't understand why, I, I personally do not understand why they're adamant against not giving us more backpack space. And I'm not asking for it to be just something like to just by default give us 40 or 50 slots, because right now we only have 30 slots. But I think what makes sense, there's a couple ways you could go about doing this. They could be unlocked via do, completing specific quests. Maybe you complete a lab and you get an extra backpack space. They could be unlocked by purchasing them from Burgle, either via raw science or maybe future milk molars. We can increase our backpack size. I know right now we can increase stack size, which is okay. But let's be honest here. The stack sizes in this game are not that big. When, if you've played other survival games, maybe you played Terraria, maybe you've played, I've been playing Core Keeper lately, you can stack most items in those games up to 999, which means I could have 999 arrows here. I'd only need one slot. Instead, because I want to carry more than one stack of arrows, if I want to carry 50 arrows, that's two slots. If I want to, if I end up farming a bunch of bug parts, these can very quickly start taking up multiple slots in my backpack. And then the next thing you know, you end up just not having space. So I don't, I do, agree, I do like the fact that they increase stack size. I'd like to see them increase that more, but I'd love to be able to get more backpack slots. Like I said, either via quests, by buying them from Burgle, earning them somehow, just crafting a bigger backpack. So I would love to know what you think about this. Would you like to see bigger backpacks? I'm pretty sure the answer to this is yes, is almost a rhetorical question here. Let me know what you think about the increased backpack size in the comments down below. If you agree with the addition to a bigger backpack, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.